what do I have here? This is the new LHX34F Skywind. What is the Skywind? Well, if you look on the bottom of it, you'll see this has two cameras, one in the belly and one in the front. The one in the belly should tell you right away that, yeah, this is probably an optical flow drone, and sure enough it is. What that means is the sensor on the bottom looks at the ground and uses its view of the ground to automatically maintain the drone's position in space. It will automatically hover in position without you having to fly it. That makes it very easy for beginners to fly this particular drone. Um, they don't have to worry about it, you know, maintaining position. Learning to hover is one of the hardest things to learn for a new flyer. This one takes, makes it very easy. And uh, let's see, what else? Um, the thing is, though, this front camera is 720p HD. This is the one you want to use for taking your aerial videos. You can take it from this bottom camera, too, but this camera here is only 480p uh, resolution, low, re you know, VGA resolution, so don't expect super pictures from this particular camera. But the front camera might work very well. Let's see, what else about the drone? It is powered by a 3.7 volt. Let me see if I can get it open. I'm going to use two fingers to get it open. Push like that. There we go. 3.7 volt, 500 milliamp per hour battery. Let's see, 650 milliamp per hour, actually. I'm sorry. Let's go into the controller right now. Uh, looking at it, it's one of these funky controllers that kind of simulating other higher-end quadcopters. Uh, it's got fake antennas on the top. These are fake. They don't do anything. They're just plastic decoration. But let's look at the other buttons we got here. This button here is for your rates for selecting bigger intermediate expert. This button on the right is for flips and then telling it which direction to flip like so. It has emergency stop, which you activate by pressing that button there. Start and stop the video camera by holding down this button here or take a photo by a quick press of that button here. This is forward and back trim buttons. This is right and left trim buttons. Enter headless mode by pressing this button here. And you can also do an automatic one key return and, and landing. Now this is... <laughs> This is advertised with a landing capability. I don't know if it actually works, but we'll give it a try by holding this button down here. It does have auto takeoff and auto landing, which is different. Uh, by pressing that button here, you start up the motors, and you can, and you can also do auto takeoff. And uh, I think that's about it. So let's go for a flight this thing and see how it performs. So I hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, this is the Have Fun app available on Google Play and iTunes. And I forgot to mention, this thing has special features. Uh, in addition to optical flow, but uh, follow me, supposedly, using this app. And also gesture control where you can take photos by uh, flashing a V sign to the, the drone and it'll do such. Uh, we are going to start off in flight mode. Actually, let's start off in master mode. Master mode. And hitting start. And master mode just gives us a picture here. Now, this, notice the blue rectangle. This thing has auto, like I said, auto follow capability. And we're going to try to see if that actually works. I'm hitting record right now of the video, and let's try that automatic takeoff. And pressing it twice to see if it holds its position, and it is doing such. Let's go up a bit higher before I get in front of the camera here. Get a thumbnail like so. <laughs> it's doing a good job, folks. Well, let's go up a bit higher. First things first, how you like my shirt today, folks? <laughs> okay. Um, let's go back to that master mode. You gotta click flight mode there, and then outline my position and click on it. And now it should be following me. Let's see if it actually turns. Well, maybe I need to be flying this using um, the app only because it doesn't seem to be turning with my position and it's probably because I'm using this controller. So with that in mind, let's go up high. First off, I want to see how high we can go and how far we can go. Here, let me go to higher rate two. Pushing forward, one, two, three. Going upwind, very slight wind in that direction there. And then increasing throttle. And right there we are about I'd say about 10 meters up. I'm just looking to see if it's holding its position at 10 meters. And it is, which is surprising. So let's go over this way here, a little further out into the center of the field, right about there. I still got 
FPV, we're going to go up a bit higher. Okay, we are about 20 meters up and now it's, or 15 meters up and now it's floating. So that's about its limit there, about uh, over, a little bit over 10 meters and then it'll start to uh, drift. Let's do a rotate while we're up there, show you the area. And it doesn't want to rotate. And, uh, and it's just hovering there. And let's try landing. Told it to land. Can I stop that landing? Yes, I can. It was, I lost signal there. And it was just um, floating. It did not come down. So that makes me concerned about is it, is it able to, what happens if you lose transmission from the uh, transmitter here it will fly away. And first off, let's bring it down and test that. Let's go back over here. And while we're over here, I'm going to turn off the transmitter. See what it does. Or actually, let's go over the pad here because the grass is a little bit wet. I want it to land in the pad. Okay. And turning off the transmitter. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008. 2009, 2010, 2011. So, this is not good, folks. Yeah, there is flyaway potential here if you go above 15 meters and you lose control. Let's see if I got control again. Can't regain control either. So, we are going to be, let's see if we've got control via the uh, pad. Yeah, okay, I'm going to turn this off then. We're going to fly the remainder of the flight using, instead of the joysticks, using the phone. Putting that on the ground, getting back in the picture. Okay, it lost signal from the uh, the app crashed and it lost the app signal and then it landed. But if it loses signal from the transmitter, it does not land. So let me restart the app again. Yeah, just hit the take off button and it'll take off. Okay, going back up again. Now we're using the app only. Let's try that follow me again. Hitting the button. Ah, you have to be using the app, apparently, for this follow me feature to have any <laughs> chance of working. But it, actually, is it actually following me? Usually these just turn in your direction. The, these uh, toy drones. But yeah, this one just, the way it tracks is, it's just tracking my position. Okay, it's, it's moving backward, too. Let's try something, then. With that in mind, let's land it again. The reason I'm landing it, folks, is I want to raise up or lower the camera. The camera can be raised and lowered like so. Okay, reboot it, the quadcopter, reboot it, the app. Let's hit start in flight mode. Let's see if we've got signal. Let's, can we do a takeoff? There's our automatic takeoff. Let it go up. Let's switch to... Rush, let's go up a bit higher until it sees me on the ground a little bit higher. Right about there. Then hitting master mode and then clicking the blue box. It automatically recognizes my shape as being, oh, it's flying toward me. Okay. If I move over this way, will it rotate with me? Oh, yeah. If I move away, will it follow me? slowly moving away. Yes, it does. Folks, this follow me actually works. <laughs> Don't tell me we're out of battery power already. <laughs> There's no way. Really? I must, uh, I think we're out of battery power already, and that's a shame. Unfortunately, that is the limit of its battery power. Its little battery is only 650 milliamp per hour. Uh, that's his flight time. I'm going to redo this flight uh, again tomorrow. Okay, it's another day here. Uh, this time I'm going to be flying with the app. Let's put it let's, or with the controller. Uh, we got it started. I'm going to start the video recording right now. We're going to start the motors and then press the takeoff button. And go to higher rate. I'm going up a bit higher. And we're going to go off into the center of the field here. Reason being... 
I want to turn the drone toward me. And we are going to select this button here. Actually, what is it? I got to get in front of the camera. I'm in front of the camera, hitting flight mode, or master mode, and then hitting the blue, turning it to red. And let's see how well it can track. It goes in and out, hit, hitting that, turning it to red. You got to make it red. And let's go to the right here. Will it track me? Will it track me? Doesn't seem to track. <laughs> so this track feature, let's get real close. Let's get real close, facial close, just to my face. Hitting the track button. And it's tracking, doing this. And then let me move to the left. Is it going to track me? No, it doesn't seem to do that. So again, I think you need to use the app. And with that in mind, we're going to stop the recording right there. And we're going to land it. Uh, by pressing that button there and we're gonna fly it with the app to try that track feature using the app only so let's go back over here okay I've turned the controller off I don't know if we have control but let's try it yeah we do so we got control using the controller went up a bit higher and forward let's take it off again into the center of the field should be following me <laughs> manually following me coming down and reducing throttle a bit and then going to master mode getting back in the picture again and starting follow me tracking will it do it using just the app so yeah it tracks if you're using the app only it seems to do it Kind of. <laughs> kind of. It regained me again. Let me see if it'll track me. Getting a little closer. Will it back away from me? It's tracking. But you got to be really close and you got to be using the app. And it, and it breaks track very easily too, unfortunately. I'm trying to get it to, how close can I, it keeps moving away from me as it resets, it regains me. So it, it tracks going away. <laughs> Interesting. Will it track me over here? Probably not. When I go off camera, it doesn't want to do it. So, it, that red box here, that blue box here, make it red, will it turn toward me? Yeah, it does. If, you, if it sees you, it automatically senses a human shape. I guess I am a human shape. And click the box, make it red. Doesn't do it now. <laughs> okay, it's red now. So it kind of it kind of works and it kind of doesn't. So you know these optical tracking for these toy drones need a little bit of work. And with that in mind, let's hit the video recording, and we're going to come out of tracking. Oh, we don't have much choice here because the batteries run out. So the other thing about this particular drone, its battery doesn't seem to last very long. That uh, just doesn't give it a lot of flight time to, to do what you want to do. So uh, the tracking needs a little work, flight time. Needs a little work too, maybe a bigger battery. Now the advantage of this particular drone, I forgot to mention, I did mention it I think, in that it has a white low C connector. Um, let me just show you that real quick. What does that mean folks? Let's turn off the, the drone. The white low C connector means that you can use any other battery and plug it in right there with your white low C connector and maybe connect that battery using a uh, rubber band and I have done that already I just didn't bring one with me today but I attach it with a rubber band and you can keep on flying you don't have to use this 600 milliamp per hour battery with this you can use your own like CMAX 5C batteries with this so hope you enjoyed this flight this is Quadcopter 101 signing out <laughs>
Thank you.